I'm trying to make this video, but there's a group of kids outside of my office window laughing and being all sorts of loud. So let's see how good this video turns out. Today we're gonna to talk about my top tips for all the new junior Marines just now getting to the fleet because a lot of you guys are just graduating your MOS schools and getting to your first duty station and your minds are these big ass sponges and you're at this like crossroads in your career right now even though it just started like I can go this way and become like a really good squared away Marine or I could take this lesser travel path that some unfortunately do take and become that shitbag Marine that we all know and if you don't know what I'm talking about keep it that way and if you do unfortunately you know exactly what I'm talking about so follow these tips to help make your careers much better help you stay out of trouble but most importantly, to help make the best out of your Marine Corps experience. So, let's go. Number one, guys, stay away from those shitbag Marines. And when I say shitbag, I mean those Marines who are always in trouble, who are doing the wrong things, who are just being disrespectful and they're not upholding the core values that the Marine Corps upholds and like teaches you guys in boot camp. And, and I say that because you guys just graduated boot camp like yesterday. So, all those things your drill instructors taught you, all that good knowledge and that good stuff that you should be doing day in and day out, yeah, um, unfortunately there's guys and girls in the Marine Corps who uh, don't do any of that stuff, who are always in trouble, who are getting NJP'd, who are doing stupid stuff, who are just trying to plague those new Marines who are coming in, and we call them a cancer, like, they're the cancer that leeches onto you and just sucks the life out of you, and they really pull you down to their level, and ultimately get you in trouble, and that can end your career, that can get you a loss of rank, a loss in pay, and just ultimately cause you a lot of heartache in your career. Back in 2008, when I just got to the fleet, we had this guy, I'm not going to say his name, although I will never ever see him again, but if you guys know me and you were enlisted with me back in the day, you knew who I'm talking about. We all got to the fleet day one. There was this picnic table outside and we all went out and there was this dude out there smoking. And we all show up. It was, I was a private first class. Everyone else is a private first class. And we get there and this dude's like, hey, what's up guys? My name's Corporal So-and-so. And I was like, all right, so I'm going to be the one taking you guys around to get you checked in and things like that. Well, long story short, the dude's like, hey man, I need $20 because I'm behind on bills. I need gas, whatever the case was. So one of the guys gave him 20 bucks and he asked me and I was like, nah, man, I don't have any money. I'm not going to give it to you because hell, you're two ranks higher than me. You should have more money than I do. Why well, am I going to give you money? Long story short, this dude was addicted to prescription pills, like oxycodone, as a Marine, which was absolutely crazy. The dude was doing drugs and getting kicked out for it, and this guy was about $20,000 in debt, and he was stealing money from junior Marines to pay off his car, fund his drug habits, and things like that. A couple of the guys I enlisted with got caught up in his BS and ultimately ended up paying the price and getting forced out, kicked out of the Marine Corps, unfortunately. So I say that because I've been there, I've seen it before. And I know what it can do to somebody in their career. So guys, stay away from those shit bag rings. They will do nothing but harm you in your career and make your lives that much harder. Number two, guys, get out of the barracks. Like, don't get me wrong, the barracks are dope and they really are. Like, everyone hates on the barracks, but the barracks is pretty kick-ass, man. Like, I live in some really awesome, great barracks and I also live in some kind of shitty barracks at the same time. The Marine Corps, it's like, it, it's weird. There's like the super, some of the nicest barracks you'll ever see and there's also some ones that are kind of dumps and... You know, they're getting better, but they still kind of exist. I've lived in both, and when I was in the barracks, I had a phenomenal time. Like, it was so cool to, like, work and live with the same people you're with all the time. Like, me and my roommate had so many great times in the barracks, but it's fun. Like, there's a lot of cool stuff to do in the barracks, but the barracks is not the end-all, be-all, guys. Especially if you're here in California at Camp Pendleton. Camp Pendleton is amazing. You have the beach, you have the mountains, you have the desert, you have San Diego, you have Los Angeles, you have all these things that are outside of the barracks. So guys, please do yourself a favor and get out. Every Marine Corps installation, correction, most Marine Corps bases are stationed by a body of water. Actually, you know what? They all are, because even at 29 Palms, there's a lake there. I'd probably stay out of it if I were you, but there's a lake there that you could explore. Don't do it, but you could. Anyways, Go out in the water, guys. Whether you're an introvert, an extrovert, whether you're the guy who likes to play video games or wherever that case is, man, get out of the barracks. Don't live in the barracks all the time. When I was younger, no one was ever in the barracks. We were always out partying, having fun, doing something. Now, as an older Marine, you know, before I came on recruiting duty, everyone lived in the barracks, man. Like, they never left their rooms. They played video games. They were on the computer. Like, they never left. And don't get me wrong, I love video games too. I was playing video games growing up in the Marine Corps. I still enjoy them to this day. But, guys, there has to be some sort of balance between, like, video games like reality and like you know 
virtual reality because those guys that live in the barracks 24 7 like you're just missing out on so much especially if you're overseas if you're in hawaii japan guys you got your places that you'll probably never ever go again so why not get out and go explore and learn or do something new because guess what will always be there at the end of the day those video games that computer games that social media whatever the case is your future self will thank you if you get out and also when you're out there take some photos too like take pictures because those memories that you make if you don't take pictures of them in the future, like me, you'll wish you had them and you won't and you'll look back with that kind of regret. So number two, guys, get out of the barracks. Go do something, help anything with your friends and play video games at another time. Number three, guys, know your job. Okay, so like the Marine Corps sends you to MOS school, job school to learn your job. So guess what you should be doing at your job school? Learning your job because too many Marines get to the fleet and they don't take their job seriously. They don't know their jobs. They don't care to learn more about their jobs, etc. And it really makes life so much harder because you're sitting there not learning your job. You're not trying to get better and you're not even bringing what you learned at the schoolhouse to the fleet to actually apply in reality. And it just makes everyone's life that much harder because somebody else has to sit there and pick up the slack that you're not doing and do it on top of their job already so know your job because that's what the marine corps is paying you for that check you get on the first and 15th of every single month yeah that's for you to work and do your job and when you're not doing it and you're still getting paid it's kind of unfair and if you suck at your job which hey some people do that's okay ask questions and learn man like go learn your job and make the best of it whether you really like it you hate it whatever you're going to be doing it for four or five years, so you might as well make the best of it. And if you decide to get out, man, get out and go do something else. But while you're in the Marine Corps, man, know your job, learn your job, and be the best at your job that you can be because everybody, literally everybody, will thank you. And it gives you opportunities to employ and go do other cool stuff because if you don't know your job, you're not going to be the guy who gets picked to go do something cool. Next, guys, get a car. Get some transportation. Hell, get a one wheel. Get something that you can do to get out of the barracks and get around base. I know Uber is cool. I know cabs are cool and all that type of stuff. And you can be that guy who like leeches a ride off everyone else. There's nothing wrong with that. But get a car and get off base. Like get out of the barracks. That's one thing. But get off base because base is cool. Pendleton's cool. 29 Palms is cool. You know, Lejeune is cool. Quantico is cool. Okinawa, Hawaii, whatever. Those places are cool on base. But get off the base and go explore the areas, guys. There's so much out there to see and explore. And if you have a car, it makes it 10 times easier hell you're making enough money in the marine corps to be able to afford a car now talking about cars go back and watch my other video about buying your first car as a marine so you don't get caught up in these scams and all this bs that these dealerships try to put on young service members such as yourself but get some sort of transportation if it's not a car get a one wheel get something a scooter a bike i don't care something to get around base so you don't have to walk and you're able to go farther away from where you live see more things have more fun and whatnot so get some sort of transportation because if you don't you'll be spending a lot of money on ubers and cabs and whatnots that you'll be putting towards a car payment something cheap and affordable nothing outlandish that you can't afford so keep that in mind and lastly guys better yourself man be the best version of yourself that you can be like i hate when people come to the marine corps and they're like i had a terrible time in the marine corps it sucked why why did it suck because you didn't do anything to better yourself man do good at your job do have a good pft a good cft do some mcmap do some commandant's reading list whatever to help make you better well routed and help get you promoted too like because these things gonna help you guys out long term going forward it's gonna benefit you benefit your career benefit you and your future marines as well so be the best version of yourself find a mentor find some guidance find someone you look up to that you can take advice from to make you better at the end of the day because guys the marine corps is what you make of it it's a performance-based organization what you do is going to either take you to where you want to be or take you the exact opposite way ultimately it's up to you and what you decide to do with it lastly have fun the marine corps is a fun time i've been doing this for 15 years and i've loved every single minute of it well not every minute but i've loved it more than i've not loved it so take that for what it's worth guys have fun have a good time take pictures enjoy yourself make friends and just have a good time guys because it goes by fast. It really does. It goes by quick. Whether you do four years, 20 years, whatever, it goes by fast. And eventually, it's going to go away. So while you're here and you're doing it, this video is about to die super quick. So guys, thank you so much. And until next time, like, share, subscribe.